ra ye olorun alagbara aki olopolopo ayin ole kan si oluwa gba ope wa adupe fo ri ofe to fun wa loni adupe father we thank you for the grace given to us today to be here and listen to your word father may your name be glorified in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray amen 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 in jesus name level of faith the sermon for today simply says levels of faith but before i go there i need to remind you what is faith faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see so that is faith so i have to remind you the definition of faith now Today, I'm about to tell you levels of faith. Ori si pele igbagbo to wa. So, ani ori si ori si pele igbagbo ti o wa. So, number one, level of no faith. Could you believe as a Christian, as a child of God, some people have no faith. Even small, a little one, they don't have little like this they did not have so that is their level so and it is not good as a child of god as a christian for you not to have faith because i i if if you have been following my simon my sermons so you can you could remember one of it which says faith is god and that faith is god simply means if you have no faith that means you don't know God. So, levels of faith. That is where I'm going today. Number one, level of no faith. According to the book of Mark 4, 440. I will read it. Mark 440. Mark 440. So, he said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? You see that now. Problems occur. Situation arise. And they were afraid. They feel of, they are full of fear. Erukunu aye wa. Ni bati jide ni nuoku. But Jesus Christ was sleeping. Sleeping because he has faith. So he has no worry. So, it is only those who have no faith who always worry. You are looking for the fruit of the womb? Yes. You are looking for a job? Yes. You want God to promote your life? Yes. You want God to give you a child? Yes. You want God to send you to a higher institution? Yes. You want to further more in your education? Yes. You want God to bless your businesses? Yes. But... You have no faith. So, when you have no faith, you give chance to Satan to destroy you more. So, levels of faith. So, number one, is level of no faith. They have no faith at all. Even small, they didn't have. So, as you can see, the disciples, Jesus Christ told them, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? That is number one. Level of no faith. So when storms arise, when problems arise, they have no faith. They were afraid. That's number one. Number two. Level of little faith. Matthew chapter 6, verse 30. Matthew chapter 6, verse 30. I will read it here. I will read it here. Matthew chapter 6, verse 13. Listen. If that is how God clothes the grass of the feed, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, we will not much more clothe you. You of little faith. That is another one. So, number two is little faith. So, number one is no faith. Somebody who does not have faith at all. And this number two is saying level of little faith. 
Jesus Christ is saying, Bi olon ba le wo, a wan, eh, a wan kori ko i be, ni a so ni a ro. Te ba lo, if you look at the grass in the morning, early in the morning, they will, they will, they will, they will be fine, refreshing, they will be fresh. But, when somebody went there and cut them down, go and look at it in the evening, you will see that, during the evening, everything will worn out. It will become dry. So, you can see, it is God who clothed the grass in the morning. That is very beautiful. But later in the time, they went out. They, they, they worn out. So, all on one, so we be all on one, and one, and one, and one, and one, and How much more, eh? You of little faith. So, you are lamenting to your problem, to your situation, you are complaining. It is because of your little faith. And that little faith cannot help you. You need to develop your faith. Level of little faith. That's number two. Number three. Great faith. Great faith. Matthew chapter 8 verse 10. Or Matthew 15 28. Matthew 15 28. I will read it here. Matthew 15 28. Truly I tell you. Some who are standing here will not taste death. Okay, sorry. This is 16. 15. 15, 28. Then Jesus said to her, Woman, you have great faith. You see that? So, level of great faith. Jesus Christ said to her, Woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. So, when you have great faith, when you have great faith, things is going to be possible for you. I'm telling you, when you have great faith, many things is going to be okay for you. Because I told us in one of my sermons that faith is God. So when you have great faith, you do things with ease. I'm telling you, level of great faith. So, this level is actually meant for the, let me say, meant for the ministers of God. Great faith. That is the area they are operating. We ministers of God, that is the area we are operating. Great faith. So, when you see ministers of God who perform miracles, so that is, they have great faith. So, and when they have great faith, something that is impossible will be possible. You make impossibility possible. You make impossibility possible. That is, who, that is, that is for those who have great faith. So those who have great faith, they will do something that is impossible. God will make impossible thing to be possible for them. Level of great faith number four. I'm talking about the level of faith. You you can see you you yourself will know your level now. Either you have level, you are in the level of no faith, or you are in the level of little faith, or you are in the level of great faith. But number four, number four, exceeding great faith. Second Thessalonica, Second Thessalonica. So Second Thessalonica, I want to read it. Second Thessalonica, chapter one, chapter one, chapter one, verse three, verse three. We ought all we ought always to thank God for you, brothers and sisters, and rightly so, because your faith is growing more and more. Did you see it now? And the love of you of one another is increasing. Your faith is growing more and more. That is exceedingly great faith and that type of faith can wake a dead you can see what jesus christ practice in the grave of lazarus that is great exceeding exceeding great faith faith so faith without measure if something somebody has died so other people have no hope you have hope when somebody got as uh, have accident other people have no faith. You have faith. So, exceeding great faith. The Bible says, 
we thank God for you because your faith is growing more and more. So that this faith is actually is actually a level. So we have some ministers of God who is in this level, exceeding great, great faith. So the faith that do all things. I'm telling you, this type of faith do all things. If people tell you that it is impossible, you will tell them that it is possible. This is exceeding great faith. When people say it is impossible, you will tell them that it is possible. So, this type of faith is the one who make a way in the Red Sea. So, where there is no way, he creates a way that is exceeding great faith. So, in the grave of, in the grave of Lazarus, that is the faith of Jesus Christ, exceeding great faith. I pray for you, these levels of faith, you know your level now. Either you are in the level of little faith, you are in the level of no faith, or you are in the level of great faith, or you are in the level of exceeding great faith. I, I pray for you the power to demonstrate the, the faith in you. Receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus. The power of faith. Receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus. I told you that faith is God. And without faith, the Bible says it is impossible to please God. According to the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. Receive the power of faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Go and grow your faith. Your faith will grow more in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. God bless you. Go and have faith. Faith is God. God is faith.